Thank you, Madam De uh, Mr. Deputy Speaker, and I, I rise following my honourable friend for North Norfolk and agree with everything he says. I uh, rise to speak in favour of the amendments uh, 72 to 77 on the provision for access to cash. I, like many of my colleagues in this chamber, understand the need of my constituents to continue to have access to cash. This demand is concentrated, though not exclusively, in more disadvantaged groups who may still use cash for budgeting reasons or because they're not technologically literate. And that is the reason that I have campaigned on this, because in my constituency of Hyndon and Haslingdon, we've seen the number of free-to-use ATMs fall by nearly 40% since January 2021. Couple that with the fact that some towns in my constituency, like Great Harwood, have seen all their high street banks close and, you, and severely limited access to cash compared to even a few years ago. We all understand the challenges and I've met with banks in my constituency and companies like Link and I'm well aware that the long term trend in digital payments and card payments are only going one way. But I strongly believe that even in the face of that evidence, we need to protect those individuals and businesses that still use cash. I remember being a local business owner in Oswald Twistle and what we had to do was run between the local businesses to just make sure that we had the change that we needed to run those local businesses. So it's really important, especially when the post offices close, uh, which happened in Oswald Twistle, which is where I have my local business, making sure that that provision is still there and it's easy, easily accessible, especially for the older residents that live across our constituencies as well. Recently, I've been talking to businesses across Great Harwood, um, where I've said again, all the high street banks have closed and the lack of ATMs can severely impact them, especially if they're a cash only business or the card facilities are down. And I'm now in the process, luckily, of speaking to Link and trying to get um, a, a banking hub there in Great Harwood and feeding in um, those uh, from those local businesses what issues that they are facing because some have to travel out of the constituency to Blackburn or to um, the Deputy Speaker's patch uh, to the wonderful Ribble Valley. And um, that is why I warmly welcome the, <laughs> the Chancellor accepting the Lord's amendments on free access to cash. From speaking to people right across my constituency, I know how important this is and it's great to see the government standing up for those who would struggle if this stark decline in cash were to continue. So I thank the Minister for his engagement throughout this process as well. We've had conversations regarding this and I really do warmly welcome the amendments in the Lords 72 to 77. Thank you very much,